for watching my YouTube channel. Super excited to celebrate today, woo, 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 Valentine's Day. Now, I appreciate that some of you watching say it is a sad day, single awareness day. However, let's kind of strip off all the romance stuff and let's choose to celebrate this day as a day to honor and accentuate love, right? Not necessarily romance or chocolate, flowers, all that stuff, but really to celebrate genuine love because ultimately God is love. Uh, First John, it says God is love. And when we think about God being love, then today is a very good day indeed, regardless of your romantic inclinations or deficiencies because God loves you first and foremost. And God is always dialed into continuously loving you. God can't change. So if God is love and love, and he doesn't change, then love, God's love for you, never changes. And I say this demonstrated on Genesis chapter 3. And I'm going to do a little bit of a series here on prayer. But when we think about prayer, I think about prayer in terms of conversations with God. Prayer isn't just a laundry list or kind of your shopping Christmas list. Hey, I need a da, 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 give me, give me. But I think prayer, especially from God's perspective, is designed for conversation, for connection, for intimacy. And when you think about God being love, then the conversation with God is a conversation based on love, that God loves you. And God doesn't change, that love doesn't change based on what you did or you didn't do, based on what you said or you didn't say. Genuine love is stable and consistent regardless of the recipient. So just kind of let that kind of marinate a little bit. And I say that because you look at Genesis chapter 3 and God had spoken to Adam and he gave him all these commandments. Now a command isn't what I would call a conversation. It's me telling my kids, hey, do the dishes. Hey, unload your part of the dishwasher. It's time to vacuum. Those are commands. But if it's a conversation, it's, hey, how was school today? What was going on at lunch? Who did you sit with? Tell me about, you know, so it's just back and forth, dialogue. Back, you know, dialogue to conversation, two people talking. So the first conversation we see with God and man in the Bible is in Genesis chapter 3 when Adam messed up. And I appreciate that Adam totally disobeyed, lost the plot with the one thing God told him to do. Don't eat from the forbidden fruit. And he did it. Eve, you know, you can say, well, it's Eve's fault. Okay, pick somebody. But he still, both of them disobeyed. And I appreciate that genuine love, regardless of what we do or we don't do, what we say or we don't say, genuine love, who is God, is still pursuing us. And you see this with God in the Garden of Eden in how he interacts with Adam. Because the very first thing that God does is God speaks out and he's looking for Adam and Adam is hiding. Adam feels bad. Adam recognizes, oh my gosh, I'm naked. He recognizes for the first time, <gasps> I'm nude. This is really embarrassing. And God seeks out Adam. And he says, God says to Adam, first and foremost, where are you? Genesis chapter 3, verse 9. And God is always looking for us because genuine love is always looking for us. So I just encourage you today. God's not angry with you. God's not totally ticked off and, and wants to pull away from you. God is saying, where are you? I'm interested to find you. I'm interested to connect with you. I don't I'll, I know what you've done. I know what you haven't done. I get all that. And I still love you. So just be very dialed into this today, on this Valentine's Day, that you are deeply, wholly, fully loved by the creator of the entire universe. God loves you. So thank you so much for watching. I'd love to get some of your feedback. You give me a thumbs up, thumbs down, whatever. Um, it'd be great if you'd subscribe or share this with a friend because everybody needs some kind of encouragement, I think, really, on Valentine's Day that we celebrate genuine love on this day. And so here is your concluding joke. And I know you like wait for these, wait for it. It's really phenomenal. What do you call a pig with no legs? Groundhog. I know. You're right. You're like, ooh. So catch you, catch you next week on our continuing conversations with God. Thanks so much for watching.